Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome back to Crash Landing. So we got our compressed iron in the last episode. We're ready to move a little bit more on to doing things in pneumatic craft. So let's go ahead and take a look at this next quest. We have heating up. Now that you have compressed iron, time to get building. So we need the pressure tube, the most basic component, but the most necessary. So we need to make one pressure tube. To do this, if I can hit the right button, we need to take two compressed iron and a piece of glass, and that's going to make four pressure tubes. So I guess my glass is over here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So there we go, there is our pressure tube. So I think this is going to ask for more, yep, the air compressor. This will generate compressed air when fed any solid fuel. Charcoal is probably easiest for now, although I'd recommend against using using blocks of charcoal. Don't using using blocks of charcoal. Be careful not to add too much pressure to the system. If you push the system into the red zone over five bars of pressure, things could explode. The compressor can be set to respond to a redstone signal so you can turn it off as needed using a lever. This can also be automated, but that is another quest. So we need to make the air compressor. To make that, and let's see here, right here, we need a furnace, bunch of compressed iron, and a pressure tube. So let's go ahead and grab some charcoal. Charcoal cobblestone. Let's grab some cobblestone. We will make a furnace, we will put down a pressure tube, and then we are going to put down a little bit of compressed iron. There we go. So there's our air compressor, but I don't think we're done with this quest yet. Uh, maybe we are. Okay. So this is going to give us four more pressure tubes, and then we can either get lightning plant seeds, a pressure gauge, or a reward bag. Now this is kind of a tough one. Because the pressure gauge we will need very soon for another quest, but the lightning plant seeds can be used to start getting us uh, our seeds immediately that we need for pneumatic craft, and the reward bag could have just about anything. I think I'm actually going to take the lightning plant seeds. Well, let's see. How do, the lightning plant seeds, how do we go about making those? So, um lightning plant seeds it's cyan dye and grass seeds okay well grass seeds are kind of in short supply we have to sieve a lot of dirt to get grass seeds I honestly think I'm gonna take those I'm probably going to regret it but I'm gonna go ahead and take those yep and here we go that's it we needed that pressure gauge a pressure gauge tube is very handy. Not only does it measure the bars of pressure in your system, it also emits a redstone signal of the strength twice that of the pressure it detects. With very little thought, you should be able to use this to automate your air compressor to keep the system at safe pressure levels. As a warning though, the compressor will not stop instantly. It must fully consume the fuel it was burning first. So remember that you that you can't have any open ends in your tubing or all your pressure will leak out. Well, no duh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab this egg over here because uh, then, yeah, eggs. Okay, so yeah, we do need to do that pressure tube or pressure gauge to make this. It's gold and compressed iron. Well, we do have some gold, so we'll go ahead and do this. It is a little bit pricey but yeah we need these stinking seeds so to deal with the seeds I have showed this before in the past so let's go ahead and grab some dirt yeah I just pulled all the dirt out of here but this is what we end up with so we're gonna place down a whole bunch of dirt there I'm going to grab a bunch of bone meal which it'd be nice if we even had more than that but uh, we're going to take some bone meal we are going to take the seeds and the way that these work this is the strangest mechanic i've ever seen we toss these on the ground they will connect themselves to the ground then we bone meal them 
until they look like this. So we don't want to bone meal that one again because what it will do is throw a lightning bolt at us. We don't want that. But see, when we break it, we got more seeds. So now what we can do is toss out more seeds. And later on, we will be automating this, and it is an interesting automation process. So we will bone meal these until they are all grown, and then break them. So let's see... And that's the other issue, is that uh, they like to pop back into the ground. Okay, so we have 13 of those seeds now. But we are going to need these to make some plastic here in a little bit. But so we do need the creeper plant seeds. Those are probably the most important currently, which is cactus green. We have not gotten any cactus yet. So I think what we need to do right now because this is going to be more important than anything. We need to remove all of the dust and gravel from this. Which, man, we have a lot of dust and gravel in here. And we need to put sand in its place. So we will go ahead and drop all of this dust and the gravel into here. And I just slowed my mouse way down. There we go. Okay, so uh, we'll start sieving sand. We need to get uh, some cactus seeds. Oh, I forgot about that. We get limestone from that. Yeah, I had totally forgotten about that. And yeah, my mouse is still moving slow. There we go. So uh, we need cactus seeds. So yeah, we'll just need to sieve some sand for a little bit. The limestone, that actually could be an interesting looking block for our build. And we're also getting some Certus Quartz Crystals. But let's see here. The uses on this, of course, we can slab it. We can cook it into bricks. Uh, this is kind of an interesting one. You smash it with a hammer and it makes more. I don't understand how that one works, but it does. It's some type of a glitch. But, uh, yeah, let's see on the bricks. We can turn those into limestone bricks. And then I think we can chisel these. Well, we can make them uh, cracked limestone. I could have sworn that we could do more than that with them. But, uh, yeah, we do have that stuff available. We need to get that uh, cactus, though, because the creeper plant seeds are actually what we need to be able to move forward in pneumatic craft. But... Uh, I suppose. Oh, there's the cactus seeds. All right. And we got a jungle seed as well. Wonderful. Okay. So let's go ahead and put our cactus down here, I suppose. Where do we want to do this? For now, we'll just do it right here. Of course, we have to be one block away from anything, and that could be painful. So we'll go ahead and let that do its thing. And let's take a look at the quest book some more for seeing where we're at. So, we need to make the pressure gauge tube. And I think all that we need for that, oh, we do need some redstone to go along with that. So let's go ahead and grab a little bit of redstone. And we will quickly make this tube. And why are those not stacking together? I don't know. Okay, so is that it for that? Uh, looks like it. So we get four more compressed iron. That is nice. Now, putting pressure to work. This is where it starts getting interesting. We are going to be making the pressure uh, chamber. So, now you can generate pressurized air. What do you do with it? The most basic, basic uh, thing is making a pressure chamber. Almost all the basic building blocks of pneumatic craft are made there. Check NEI, as usual, for the needed recipes. Start with a 3x3 pressure chamber. You'll need 25 pressure chamber walls or pressure chamber windows and one pressure chamber valve. Simply build a 3x3 cube, leaving the very center block open. The pressure chamber valve must connect to the air block in the middle. So we are going to do a bit more than that, but we will 
first have to make some things. So we need to make the walls, but we want at least one window and we need a valve. And then we are also going to make the interface. So no, we can't make the interface yet. That kind of sucks. Okay, well, vacuum pump. I don't remember that one. Maybe it was there, but I sure don't remember it. Okay, well, anyway, we will make this the uh, simplistic way, I guess. So we are probably going to need a lot more compressed iron for this because it is eight for each of four, whether it be the window or the wall. And let's see, we need 25, which means we actually need seven recipes, which means we need 54 compressed iron. That is on hold for a little bit. So we are going to have to try to get a lot more iron. Oh, we got some cocoa beans. We got some ancient spores. I think we're actually going to pull. Well, whatever. We've got one left. I was going to pull the sand out, but no, we won't worry about it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and put our uh, dust and gravel back in here. So we'll put a little bit of gravel. Then we'll put some dust and a gravel in here. And fill the rest of this up with dust there we go so yeah we are going to be waiting for a long time on resources iron is a big problem so let's go ahead and take the stuff out of here that is not supposed to be in here there we go so we have for this chest we have the limestone flint and coal for the food chest, we have raw fish, cocoa beans, and salt. For this one, we have stones. For this one, we have exotic seeds. And then I think, where do we want to put the ancient spores? I think we'll put those up there. So we pretty much got everything that we could out of that. But now what we need to do is get a little bit of cactus and start working on that is not a watering can we need to get a little bit of cactus and start working on getting our uh cactus green well the whatever the the creeper plant seeds so make sure that we don't lose that we are going to take and cook one of these and we will replant the other one and let that grow at its own pace because we won't need it to go fast. Now I think we have one grass seed somewhere. I think. Maybe we don't. Ooh, maybe we don't. Okay, well let's go ahead and grab a little bit of dirt. I have a little bit of dirt. We will sieve half a stack of dirt dirt. This should pretty easily give us some grass. Come on, let me sieve the dirt. And actually, see here, let's make another one of these sieves so that we can sieve our own stuff ourselves. So I think it takes nine string and the rest of it is all wood. So let's take a look at the sieve. The sieve. No, it's IE. Okay, so the oak sieve. We need string mesh. Oh, we need 18 string. Okay, well, that's fine. We will grab nine more string. And it never hurts to have extra ones of these because later on in the game, we will have tons of autonomous activators and we won't have to worry about it. So now we need sticks and planks. So let's go ahead and make a couple of planks we'll get some sticks we're gonna have to go over to the furnace to get some sticks and our cactus green for that matter so we'll grab two sticks an egg and we will make our 
New sieve. All right. So we'll place this down right next to that one. That way we can get the vacuum hopper picking this stuff up as well. Stand back a little just so that I'm not picking it up. And I just saw, I think that was sugar cane. Yes, that is one that we need for our food production. We also got soybeans, but I think we already had those. So let's go ahead and just keep sieving this because we are going to need quite a bit of grass seeds. We need uh, at least one to get grass onto the ground. And then we need at least one to make our creeper seed plant or our creeper plant seeds. So let's go ahead and sieve a bunch of this. I think that was grass seeds there. Oh, what was that one? Sunflower. No, that was sugarcane again. We haven't gotten any grass seeds yet. Come on. I think we also get tomato out of this. We got grape, rice, sunflower, sugarcane, soybean. Hmm. Come on. Give me grass seeds. And a lot of little stones. That is not what I am wanting. There's the tomato. We will be needing that here soon when we finally get a little bit of setup for meat production. Which actually the meat production shouldn't be too far off anymore. Our biggest problem right now is securing our base area. Which I have seen in the comments. You guys are very fond of the idea for the Tatooine base. So that's definitely what we're going to be doing. I think... Oh, geez. We have so much junk here. We finally got our grass seeds. Awesome. We finally got some grass seeds, at least. So we'll go ahead. We've only got a couple more here. See if we get anything else interesting. Probably not. So it did look like we got another grass seed there. So we've got two grass seeds. We did get an acorn. More stones. That looks like it. Yep, vacuum hopper is empty. But we got our grass seeds. We got a whole bunch more uh, Pam stuff. So that's good. Let's go ahead and put this stuff away. So we've got tomato, rice, grape, soybean, sunflower. So uh, I think the tomato was a new one there. Yep, the tomato was new. And then we have the sugar cane, which that one's pretty important. And now we have, oh, we have an egg. Two eggs. Let's go ahead and drop these guys off, which we are going to have to start putting those guys together here really, really soon. We have some coal in our inventory. Hmm. All right, so now let's go ahead and make some creeper plants. So we go ahead and we take this and that and we get our creeper plant seeds. So just like before, we queue these out onto the ground. We will get uh, a plant. We go like this. Now, if we bone meal this again, it explodes. So not a good idea. But uh, so we will just do this. And I'm just going to let these guys fall on the ground for a little bit. This is actually rather fun. It's a mechanic that you wouldn't think would be in Minecraft. Whoops. Broke that one before it was ready to be broken. So, yeah, we will basically run through this entire pile of bone meal doing this. Because we need a lot of these for what we're going to be doing. And like I said, later on, we will be automating this. I came up with a system from Steve's factory manager to take care of this. I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of research into my own videos to see how I did it again. Because like I've been saying, this has been over two years ago was when I played this last. All right, so we will leave the rest of these in the ground to grow on their own. But we got 26 creeper plant seeds. And actually, let's go ahead and water can these we'll get them out of the ground a little bit quicker. So it is kind of unfortunate we can't use the water can in 
an autonomous an autonomous activator, but uh, yeah, those guys are gonna grow slow. All right, well we'll just leave that alone. So uh, yeah, we need quite a bit more iron to continue forward. Uh, we need to get a lot of those guys. We need to make more compressed iron. So that is what I am going to be trying to push for. And I'm probably going to do a bunch of that sieving and cooking of iron between episodes because we are out of time. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on, be sure to leave that down in the comments. And I will see you next time. Bye!